on in chicka pies how we doing how we feeling it is thursday and it is raining yet again this morning but i am you know got the smile on my face and i'm saying you know what it is what it is it is what it is so yeah so i'm headed to work as usual and um no i didn't do an ootd today i was running way late and i was trying to get out of the house before the traffic got too ugly because of the rain because yesterday i ended up getting in a big mess of traffic and i got to work late and i did not like that because i don't like to get to work late so um, i'm still later than usual but uh not as late as i was yesterday so um i do plan to do an ootd for you all today because i do want to share this outfit with you all because i like it a lot so all of that being said before i go any further i do want to take just a moment out to offer my condolences um my sympathy my prayers my love to everyone that was affected by the shooting yesterday in florida at the high school i don't even know what to say like i honestly it's like what do you say i mean this continues to happen what is going on in our world that why can't we fix this what is wrong I don't know the answer. I don't know what we need to do. All I know is that I want it to stop. I am so heartbroken. I am so saddened by the thought that people feel that this is okay. The person that wakes up in the morning and says, I'm gonna go shoot up a school, shoot up innocent people, destroy families, and for what? Because someone upset you. I don't know, I don't know, I just, it's a bit much but I don't want to dwell on it because you know we have to we have to get past it and you know sometimes I think it gives the bad people more of a satisfaction satisfaction to watch other people in misery and pain but so like while I want to give it due respect I don't want to linger in it because that is giving him more leverage you know so um just no family friends in that area i do I, I don't know you personally you don't know me personally but i do i do sympathize and i wish it was words that i could say to make this better but i know that technically there isn't but um just know you're in my prayers so yeah so um I have a meeting this morning at work this is a first meeting that we're having. We're going to start a weekly meeting thing every Thursday, I think. And so I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Um, it is an attempt to make sure we know what everybody's doing. And um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to go. Hopefully it's going to go well. I have my little plan for the things that I want to talk about. So hopefully that is going to be what they want to hear. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so... Other than that, I'm just moving right along, get, trying to get the steak going. Um, I do want to show you all a little something that I, where is it, that I did for myself. I don't have it on yet because, again, I was running super late this morning. I was just like, girl, just throw it in the purse and put it on later. But um, you all know that I mentioned that I do try to, um, you know, I love myself on Valentine's Day. And I saw this about a week ago and I fell in love with it. Um, I am a Sterling Silver girl, if you don't know that by now. <laughs> I love me some Sterling Silver and I was in TJ Maxx the other, oh, I guess about a week ago and I saw this and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love it. And of course you all know I've been spending all my money, all my extra money on my house and I have been trying my best not to spend money on myself with the exception of a few things that I've done over the last week. But like, I just, you know, I haven't been spending money on myself. And when I saw this, I was just like, you know what, it's gonna be Valentine's Day coming up and I'm going to wish myself a happy Valentine's Day and show myself love. So in doing so, I bought this cute little bracelet and I cannot wait to show it to y'all. It is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. And it was very, very inexpensive. It is very Valentine's Day appropriate. I don't know, can you all see that? I can't tell if the camera is focusing. It probably is not because I think, let's see. I don't think it's gonna focus good. Let's see. It says love. It's not focusing. There we go. There we go. It says love. 
and it is a small like little bangle type bracelet small enough for my wrist which is awesome because I have the world's smallest wrist for a, a grown woman <laughs> and so I love this bracelet like I'm so excited about it I cannot wait to um, okay okay we're stopping way back too far y'all I'm scared no, I'm scared don't be making me late for work um, but I do love it I cannot wait to put it on like I said it just opens yowza um, it opens just a tiny bit so it's not one of those ones that flap all over the world this is actually made onto the bracelet so this isn't gonna flap off you don't have to worry about two parts coming apart apart so I am going to put this on today and this is my little Valentine's gift to myself absolutely love it and it was very very good uh, the price point of it was $19.99 I don't know if I said that or not but the price point of it was $19.99 so a very inexpensive and it is sterling silver and I don't know if you all know um, but TJ Maxx is one of the best places to buy sterling silver at they always have great prices great items um, you just have to they go very very fast so you just have to be willing Willing to every time you go in there if you're in the market or you want jewelry is to head on over to that section and uh, check it out because they do a lot of times have some fantastic pieces so I'm really excited I cannot wait to put it on of course I have on all my bangles today and I as I had my last bangle on today I was like well I probably should have kept it simple because that way you can see the bracelet more but then I was like not nah, I'm extra it's me and guys if you're looking at these nails I'm gonna apologize I just hit a comp okay really you just decide to turn right in front of me oh, people um, I just made a video well not made the video entirely on but I was just talking about the fact that I haven't been doing my nails the way I should so yesterday I looked down at my nails and I was like well there I had a little small chip and two of the nails but nothing really dramatic um, or at least I well no I take the back one of my nails was a little bit more chipped than I felt comfortable with but the other one was just a tiny little chip but I was like I'm good I can make it through tomorrow and I will change my nail polish on Thursday and everything will be good so tell me why when I woke up this morning and got in the shower got out of the shower I was putting on my makeup and I looked in the mirror of course because I'm putting on my makeup and I see like total like oh my gosh like I look like I haven't done these nails in over a month like these two just decided to go haywires like they just lost every sense of nail polish they could possibly have on them so like seriously <laughs> So, of course, I look horrible today and I feel very bad because I'm actually supposed to meet a friend right after work for like a quick, like, just, we, ha we just want to do some catch up because we haven't seen each other in a while and um, just to say, hey, what's up? Um, what well, depends on their schedule because they are trying to do, uh, my friend's trying to do taxes and all that good stuff. So, I don't know, um, depending on where that whole situation is, but we had kind of said we were going to meet up today and... Uh, say hey what's up uh, so I was like I don't want to be like half done but that's okay I am it is what it is and I am you know hey <laughs> I'm not trying to impress anybody so but yeah so I'm trying to get this tag off of here without okay there we go so I'm gonna put my little bracelet on and the little catch goes inside the E if I can get it in there. There we go. So yeah, so there it is on my wrist. I love it, y'all. It is so pretty. It's so me. It is so me. And uh, so yeah, so that was my Valentine's Day to myself. I did my makeup a little bit. I don't know, can you guys see it? Is it looking a little bit dramatic today? Um, I've been I pulled in to my bathroom because you all know I've been just like kind of using the makeup that's been in my bathroom yeah. All right, chicka pies. I'm in my little spot again And I know I'm probably got a couple lights that I'm gonna set through so I thought I would kind of chat with you all just a tad bit again um, You know just to say What's on my mind or chat with y'all about whatever y'all I'm just loving this red lip like seriously like nobody's business like this is the red that I've been haunting for. And um, you know, when I get into my little room, which is probably going to be uh, in about two to three weekends, I am going to be live in that room. 
and I will bring you guys along because I, I want you guys to see like where I like just the mess I've created in that room um, and to where I have a dream of ending up in that room so um, like right now it is like I said it is definitely used as a storage room uh, with all of me all of my, my things that I'm getting rid of and I'm just trying to figure out like what I want to do with everything do I want to sell it do I want to you know like some of the things and then I have unfortunately uh, because of everything being such a mess I haven't been able to get to all of my things and that's my friend calling we have to discuss this relationship issues that's going on so you know y'all have to forgive me I have to chat with y'all in a minute hey there chicka pies how we doing how we feeling Okay, a lot has happened since the last time I was on this camera, and so I wanted to take just a few minutes to come on in and A, apologize, because I didn't vlog anymore today, um, and B, give an explanation why. My friend Terry, who you all met in my video, you've seen her in my video several times, her boyfriend passed away today. He went home at 11 o'clock this morning, and so when I got off work, I went straight to her house, and part of his request up before passing away was that his death be celebrated as well as he celebrated his life so we went out to have some dinner and we just kind of tried to laugh and talk about the fun things that he liked to do and we just kind of had an evening of just girlfriends hanging out and remembering him in a good way uh so obviously it was not an appropriate time to vlog but of course i didn't um you know, I didn't want to bring the camera along or anything like that, but I didn't get a chance to do an OOTT, <laughs> an OOTD today. So I thought I would go ahead and take just a few moments out to do that for you all because I really wanted to show this outfit today. Um, I'm not in the best of spirits right now. I'm trying very hard to be happy because I know that that's what he would want because to know him was to know that he was comical. He was funny. He wrote beautiful poetry. He was a very, uh, what's the word? I want to say um, eccentric or like um, he was, what's the, um, what are the people that do the peace signs and all that? Why can't I think of what it's called? But he was definitely a person in his own way. Like he just, you know, he was scary. And so I'm, I'm trying to honor his wishes and be happy at this moment, but obviously, it's been a long day and a lot has happened, so um, I'm not at my best, but I'm gonna go ahead and back away. But before I do so, I ask that all my chicka pies, this video will probably not go up until probably Friday at some point, um, but whenever you see this video, just take a few moments out and say a small prayer for my friend Terry that, uh, you know, that she's able to get through this okay and, and for his family, he left behind a daughter, a son, a granddaughter, uh, you know, just let, you know, just pray for peace over the family. So I'm going to go ahead and back away now and do an OOTD. And so this is the top that Monet gave me, which you all know I shared that in a haul. I've actually worn it one other time and I absolutely love it. It's This is the perfect weather for it because it was like in the 60s, I think, today. So it was perfect weather. It was enough to keep me from being cold, yet it didn't, it wasn't so thick and, you know, Tell what it made me feel like I was hot and it does cover the bum bum. <laughs> but, and then I have on a pair of Michael Kors. These are, I got these I think at Ross a long time ago. I'm, I've had them for a while. These are some that I used to wear to my other job. I would just spruce them up. I put on a jacket with them. But today I decided to kind of throw them on with uh, my little somewhat flats and, you know, just kind of give it kind of like a, a dressy or casual look for the office environment that I have. So yeah, so this is my OOTD and this top is a top. I did get this, I think at TJ Maxx. I don't remember, it was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but um, I got it right before I went to Jamaica. Yes, I got it right before I went to, I was thinking like, when did I get it? I got it right before I went to Jamaica. I love the material that it's made out of. It's really soft. And it feels like very, it's, it feels like almost like you're wearing like a night shirt or something. It's just like super soft. And I love that it's, it's long sleeves. The sleeves come down long because you guys know I have this thing about my sleeves having to come down to my hands. And of course, I'm loaded down with tons of bangles and whatnot today. I have on my tiger eye ring. 
just kind of, I felt kind of festive today in my own way. Like I just wanted jewelry. Let's not look at the nails, okay? We've already had that conversation and they look whack, okay? And then um, I do have on a little belt. I kind of tuck my shirt in a little bit so that my belt would show. And this is a belt, Lord only knows where it came from. It's probably no less than a hundred years old. So we won't even go there. But yeah, so this is my OOTD for today. I absolutely love this outfit. I felt like it was like comfortable. I felt like I was dressy enough, but not like, you know, not too dressy for my office because obviously we don't get real dressed up in that office. But yeah, I just really like it. I like the way it looks. I love having the pockets and the knit pants because I feel like I'm wearing leggings, but I'm not really wearing leggings. So yeah, super, super cash, super, super comfortable. So yeah, and oh, let's, not, let's talk about the scarf, okay? I am wearing my animal print scarf that I hadn't pulled this out in a long time. I kind of thought it complemented the coloring in the in the uh, the vest quite a bit. So I kind of like the way that looks. So I threw that on this morning. I hadn't worn one of my scarves in a while. So I have the cutest scarf to wear till tomorrow. I was gonna say till tomorrow. I have the cutest scarf I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I cannot wait to put it on. Uh, my friend Terry gave me a scarf uh, that was gifted to her for Christmas. Uh, but she is one of those people that can't stand anything around her neck. You know, a lot of people are that way. I can literally be bundled up from the top of my head to the tip of my toe and like seriously would not bother me at all. Like I'm just one of those people. I love to be like covered. I don't know why, but I actually have a harder time. I can do it in the summertime, but like in the winter time, I cannot be exposed. Like I can't have my chest out or like I totally freak out. But in the summertime, I'm okay with the cold shoulders and off the shoulders, I'm really loving. But like in the winter time, if it's a, the slightest bit cool outside, I'm gonna be boggled up, like bottled up, boggled up. What's the word, boggled up? I don't know. I don't know which way it's supposed to be. But anyway, <laughs> I cover up well, you know, so I'm not one to just be like out in the, out in the open. I don't know why. I just have this thing. But she, on the other hand, cannot stand for any, she doesn't wear long sleeves. She doesn't, um, like she, she will wear little booties every now and then, but she's very, like she gets hot easily. So anyway, she was gifted a beautiful scarf for Christmas. I won't tell you about it. I'll just show it to you tomorrow. I can't wait to wear it, but I'm going to wear it with some jeans and you know, I have a little outfit in my head all planned out. So hopefully it's, you know, sometimes so when you plan those outfits in your head, they don't turn out the way you want them to. So guys wish me luck on that. So, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and get off. I'm actually very tired. Like I said, it's been an exhausting mental day. Uh, work itself was crazy. And then, like I said, with everything that's gone on today, I just really want to get myself prepared for bed. And I just want to crawl into my bed and give thanks for another day and just appreciate life even more today. You know, I mean, it's just been, you know, the things that's going on on the news and then you have, you know, news like this, it's like, can I deal with one more death? Like, you know, I, I can't handle another death. Like, I don't know. Like, I know God will give me strength to do whatever I need to do in life. But on the flip side of that, I'm saying, can I handle any more? I don't think I can. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close right now. And the lipstick is pretty much gone off. Like, I don't know, guys, I'm into this red, like super, like I'm like loving every bit of it. And like, I know in the camera, I can't imagine what it looks like, but it looks pretty looking at it the way I'm looking at it, but it probably looks pretty blotchy from y'all's perspective. So I don't know what y'all are seeing, but it used to be some red lipstick. <laughs> so like from what I can see, it actually just looks like my lips are tinted, but I'm sure it's all blotchy and like, cause I had dead skin that I was pulling off earlier. Like that is way TMI. But as I was driving down the road tonight, I was all like, ah, I need to, I need to put some, some lip balm on my lips, but this weather has just had me really dry again, but I, I'm just loving this red. I don't know why. I, it's like this morning I was thinking, put on the neutral, and I was like, no, let me grab my red. So I grab my red. So I don't know. Who knows what I'm going to wear tomorrow? Probably the red again, because like I said, I'm feeling the red, and I'm thinking with that scarf, that red might look really, really good. I need to do something to these nails, though, but I'm too tired. I can't. Not tonight. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do. This hand looks okay, so maybe I'll just walk around using this hand tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, sugar pies of the world, thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. If you are watching me for the very first time and you're like, wow, who is this crazy chick? Like, who is she? Where'd she come from? My name is Sheila and welcome to Real Life with Sheila. I do hope you subscribe and stick around for a while. I'd love to have you as a part of our team, one of my sugar pies. And 
if you do go, decide to go ahead and describe, with, subscribe, which I hope that you do, make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I do a video. And please, by all means, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, found it any way ha helpful, useful, any of those things like that. Like if it, it, any way it intrigued you by just a tiny, tiny bit, just make sure you go ahead and thumbs up this video. And also, please feel free to leave comments below. I love comments. I love chatting with everybody. And if you want to chat with me on a more personal level, feel free to use my email that's located in the description bar. I'll be more than happy to chat with you via email as well. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.